Welcome back to Draw Every Day with JJK, where we are making pumpkins ahead of Halloween and then quietly and very sneakily gifting them to friends and neighbors by leaving them on their porch. Today, I'm teaching you how to draw an angry pumpkin. Draw Every Day with JJK. Hey everyone, I hope that you've been having fun with these pumpkins. I, we have been having so much fun covertly planting these pumpkins on our friends porches and at local businesses. You know, it's like it's like a really nice prank and we sort of feel like secret agents because we do it under the cover of darkness. Uh, so today we are going to continue uh, the pumpkin tutorials so that you can do your hashtag pump kindness and, and spread joy and do random acts of kindness. So today though, it doesn't really sound like kindness, but today we're gonna to be talking about the emotion of anger. We're gonna draw a really angry pumpkin. So let's head back to episode two, just when it all started, I was draw every day and let's revisit how we draw an angry face. Now, sometimes we're really angry. So I want to make a really mad and angry face. And when you're really angry, your brows get cross, it squishes together your forehead. And when you're really angry, you tend to tilt your head down and look up at the source of your anger. Maybe your character is so angry that they're grinding their teeth. I use acrylic paints again. Acrylic paints dry very quickly. They're very thick, sort of waterproof in the rain. I mean, look, if you get acrylic paints on your clothes, they're pretty much there for life. Uh, I've had my pumpkins out in the rain and if it's a really hard downpour, it will crust off otherwise. Uh, the paint will typically last longer than your pumpkins because you know what sometimes we you know We'll compost these pumpkins and we'll go back and visit them. Sometimes the faces are still there. It's really creepy All right, so let me again. Oh, let's review the colors that I lay out on my palette When making these pumpkins we use cadmium red ultramarine blue burnt sienna titanium white sap green violet cadmium orange, cadmium yellow, and Naples yellow. When I'm drawing characters, I do always seem to, to start with the eye. So uh, let me figure out where the stem is arched and the smoothness of the various parts. There's a slight curve this way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that uh, facing the, the, towards the front of the face, like the character's so angry that they're their face is moving forward. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of burnt sienna, a little bit of that orange, and again, I am painting the sockets of the eyes. And I'm going to have those brows come down like that. Let me figure out where I want that mouth to go. I think what I'll do is I'll have this character grinding their teeth, like put in some dark colors. I'm gonna put in some uh, ultramarine blue, some burnt sienna together. And I'm going to paint, what I'm doing here is I'm painting the darkness of the mouth and I'll add the teeth in later. always oh man I just got so wet <laughs> okay be careful where you put your water uh, and especially if you're also dealing with electricity uh, I'm not gonna stand up because it kind of looks like I wet my pants uh, this is awkward um, all right <laughs> I have my blow dryer and I'm going to dry up all of that paint Oh, 
unfortunately I do have some backup water nearby. Let's swap out these cups. I will have to be more careful next time. Oh, brother. Okay, let me get the white for the character's eyes. I'll use that for the eyes and the teeth. I swear, that was, oh my goodness, this is the most embarrassing episode ever. That was the paint. That wasn't me. I know it, it sounded uh, like gas, it, it, I promise you, like when you, <laughs> this is a mess. Like, you know when you've got a ketchup bottle and you're trying to get that ketchup out? It kind of happens like that with paint sometimes too. I'm, I'm not joking, I'm telling you the truth. I'm not just trying to cover myself. Jeez. Okay, so I'm gonna mix a little bit of this Naples yellow. That white there. And place it here. And I'm going to put these little itty bitty eyeballs in that socket. For teeth, I'm gonna make them look sort of knobby and crooked. I'm gonna come in here and darken the area underneath the brows. And that will give us some more dimensions. And I will also add a little bit of shadow around the edges of that eyeball to give the impression of depth. I'm going to have the pupils come right at the top here. The top of the pupils will be cut off by those brows. And as always, if there are shadows, there are going to be some highlights. So to create a highlight color of this pumpkin skin, I'm going to grab some orange, some yellow, some Naples yellow, a little bit of white. Now also when we're, you know, when we're very angry and our brows get crossed, it also, it folds the skin together here. And so you get this little line, or a line or two here like that. Highlights here on either side of the mouth. Grab some, some white, just straight up white, and add it to the highlights here. You know, why don't I make some of these teeth yellow? This dude has not been brushing his teeth. Almost smell the breath. And a little highlight for the lip here. So again, if there is now, if there's a highlight, there needs to be a shadow. So I'll create a little darker orange, but right under the lip. Like that. And I breathe life into the character by grabbing some red paint, drying it out, and just applying it loosely like that. Smudging it around. I'm working with non-toxic paint, it's important to remember. Now it looks like in all the chaos that I had a, a few mistakes. Some paint here and some things got smushed there. So we have two options here. We can attempt to fix it, which I can with, with this mouth here. I have to make the mouth a little bit bigger there. Now some of those teeth are actually a little bit of a brown color, and that kind of works too. Got some paint here. That's not going to come off. That's okay. So what I'm, I'm going to I'm going to use that as an opportunity to make something different, and good to turn this into a scar by making some stripes this way. And now it looks like I did that on purpose. Well, and there we have it an angry pumpkin. Uh, don't forget to ask your grown-ups to submit your artwork at my website, studiojjk.com. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to show you a bunch of my other pumpkins from years past. I'm going to be putting this on a neighbor's porch tonight. I'm going to just write hashtag pump kindness on the back here, and they'll wake up in the morning, be surprised, or they'll hail me on the porch, and they'll be surprised by that too. See you soon. Please click like and subscribe and keep drawing. See you soon.